the dawn of creation, eons ago. Shiva, the Mahayogi, had just returned to Mother Goddess. From his abode Kalasha, celebrating Shiva's arrival, Mother Goddess, his eternal consort and feminine aspect, took care of him. It was a blissful time lasting a million years. Until Shiva thought of leaving for Kalasha again. Everything is perfect here. Why do you go to Kailasha, where there is no one to take care of you? Mother Goddess asked Shiva. To carry out my task of transformation, I go to Kailasha to sit in one-pointed concentration, replied Shiva. Look at these stars outside, Shiva said, pointing to the dazzling vast universe. Some have similar life forms like ours, but they do not have an empress like you. They have more grief and suffering. I understand grief as I experience that when you leave for solitude. But what is suffering? said Mother Goddess. You have to be a part of their world to understand their plight, Shiva reasoned. I'm ready to do anything, Mahadev, said Mother Goddess. I want to see these emotions. Shiva knew that Mother Goddess's desire would have eternal consequences. The universe had to enter the next stage. You are about to see what no one has ever seen before, O oh, Mother Goddess. Shiva spoke solemnly. Maheshwar Mahakalp Mahatandav Sakshini. Mother Goddess saw everything, including herself, merge into Shiva's universal form. Shiva became Nataraja, the sovereign dancer, and stayed in this form until the creation time. New planets started shooting out from his body, like arrows from a bow. Earth was formed. Mother Goddess was formed from the five elements. As daughter of Daksha and Prasuti, she experienced suffering, sorrow and sadness firsthand. Now I do know it is painful, she told Shiva. But I have you, and it's blissful. What about the rest of creation? There is no suffering, only ignorance, replied Shiva. Suffering is a perspective out of ignorance. They must remain connected to the source, for it has all the wisdom anyone ever seeks. How to connect to that source? Mother Goddess asked. Pick any sound my Damru created. Everything originated from those sounds. Shiva gave away the secret of creation. But no one heard it other than me, Mother Goddess contended. And I was too spellbound then. Wait till I do the Tandava, Shiva said, referring to the dance he performed in his Samyabhav, out of love. Shiva raised his Damaru and began playing. His Kundala gave rise to the seed syllables of Kundalini. From his Damaru, other mantras came about, various sounds, each representing the feminine, masculine, or neutral aspect of creation started emerging. The ancient sages perceived these sounds and were called drashtas or seers. They captured these sounds into 14 categories known as Maheshwar Sutras. They passed these mantras to the flourishing but suffering race on earth. <laughs> Ha 
हाया वार लट यमंग गाड़ नम झ भय घड़ धश जब गड़ दश खफा छठ था चट तव कपय शश सर हल Mantras are about going to the source of all sounds, the first voice. Vedas have called it Nad Brahma or Shabd Brahma. That is the story of mantras, the eternal sonic energy that connects us to the source.